Hello, this is Chris with MyCricketForum.com. What we have here today is the Sprint Samsung Nexus S 4G phone. We're flashing it to Cricket and we're also going to root the device and this video is solely about rooting the Sprint Samsung Nexus S 4G. The files that uh, will do this in pretty much one click, um, it's actually a few clicks but we're going to call it one click because it's that easy. Um, it was made by Shabby Penguin from uh, XDA Forums, so if this works out for you, I suggest going over there and donating to him. Uh, if you go to XDA Forums, find Shabby Penguin uh, under his profile. In any of the threads, you'll see a Donate to Me button. We'll also include a link to it on our page. Um, this is pretty much the contents of the zip file that he has. It has uh, the ADB in there, fast boot. It has two installations of drivers for the device, and you will have to use these drivers. There's a 32-bit and a 64-bit. Just uh, go through it with uh, USB debugging not enabled first. Go ahead and install the drivers. Uh, choose Samsung, and um, when he give, if he gives you a warning that uh, the drivers weren't uh, certified or whatnot, just uh, allow the installation. Uh, there might be two windows that pop up. Uh, it also includes a uh, readme document that will help you through these steps. Once you get the driver uh, installed, enable USB debugging. Actually, that will be the last thing it tells you to do to finish the installation. And you're going to right click uh, the run.bat and run it as administrator. It's going to come up with uh, many warnings, one of which is that it uh, will reset everything on your device. And since you have no micro SD, the actual 16 uh, gigabytes of storage on the inside can be reset so back up all that and eventually you'll get to a screen um, where it'll look like it's going into your uh, recovery or uh, the bootloader actually and this screen will come up and it'll say uh, unlock bootloader you're going to choose uh, yes with the volume toggle and it warns you that it may void your warranty and you're going to use the power button to select it and your on-screen uh, display in the uh, little command prompt is gonna say rebooting and then uh, any key to continue we'll just wait till the device pops back up So this is a good tutorial if you have the uh, Sprint Nexus S 4G run on Sprint or any other carrier and you want to root the device. A lot of benefits with rooting gives you a lot more uh, power over the operating system and you can do a lot more things. Now we'll go press any key to continue. It says please enable USB debugging again. And when you have enabled it, press any key. It's already enabled. Again, the device not found. I guess it uh, automatically disabled it at some point. It uh, reset the device. So we're going to blast past uh, all of this. We'll skip the setup. We'll go into our settings, applications, development, enable USB debugging. Go to our device manager, make sure it's coming up properly. And there it is. Still says waiting for device, so we're going to end this and actually start it all over again, unfortunately.
and now it lets it know that it's already um, uh, unlocked. So we'll wait till it boots up again. You can see by the uh, little icon on top that USB debugging is enabled. You get the on screen to instructions that say, please use volume down button and select recovery and press power and that is clockwork recovery installed right there press any key to continue on the computer it says using volume up down and the power button to select choose mounts and storage Then select the top choice, which should be mount SD card. Once you have mounted the SD card, press any key to continue. So it's pushing files over from the computer to the device because the SD card is mounted, which is actually the storage on the device. Select go back, the bottom most option. Or hit the back uh, arrow soft key then select option number five from the top install zip from SD card second option from this sub menu choose zip from SD card we're going to scroll down to su.zip and we're going to choose it and then we're going to say yes install su.zip Hit any key to continue. Congrats, you are rooted. Press the power button and reboot the phone. And that was it. Now we have a rooted Nexus S 4G. So we will be able to get this on the $45 plan with Cricut. To view the rest of the tutorial and more information about Cricut Wireless, please visit www.mycricutforum.com. Please subscribe to our videos as when new devices come out we'll post tutorials on that and more information about Cricut. Thank you.